Hello, summoners, and welcome to another official Marvel Contest of Champions live stream here at twitch.tv slash kabam. We're coming to you live early from beautiful Vancouver from the Kabam Studios. My name is Jax, one of your community managers, and I'm thrilled to be here with each and every one of you to talk through what's new and exciting coming to the contest in May. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. And a shout out to everybody watching through our content creator restreams or over on YouTube. If you want to be a part of the conversation, feel free to head over to twitch.tv slash kabam and hop into the chat. That's where we'll be monitoring. That's where we'll be taking questions. And that's where we're going to be shouting you all out. So if this is your first time in a live stream, maybe you're not familiar with Twitch, make sure to make a quick account. Use an email you already have. Takes no time at all. And then pop into chat and let me know that you're here for your first time, but it is so, so good to see you all. Welcome on in. Um, we got a lot to talk about today, but I really wanted to say hey to a number of different people. Um, brand new, we got going on in here. Um, in ROB, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, a lot of these names are seemingly a jumble of letters and numbers, and hey, that's fine. It just makes it hard for me. <laughs> TJA1512, first time chatter. Um, we got Cami Load1. Greetings, everybody. So, so good to see you all. Um, first time here. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Richard Inho, hello. Byzet, greetings. Good to see you guys. And, and I really find it very entertaining and very fun when you guys say, hey, shout out from Japan, which I saw earlier in the chat. And I love being able to see where you guys are from. It really speaks volumes to the reach of MCOC and how involved this community is. And I love that, love that, love that. Um, cool, what are we talking about today? Let's get into the schedule, then we'll go through some ground rules, and then we'll dive right in. How does that sound for you guys? Um, today we're gonna be talking about our May content. That includes event quests, side quests, Arena changes, that's a pretty important one. We've got a Shooting Stars quest that will be the permanent content to accompany the launch of Seven Stars next month. Um, and we've got um, two new champions coming to the contest. We're gonna sit down and chat with one of our champion designers. Uh, a little more detail about those characters. It's gonna be great. We're really looking forward to it. And then we're gonna wrap the show up with another edition of Guess a Champ. If you were here for the first time, we had a lot of fun, so we decided to bring it back. We'll give you more details about that later. All right, all right. Fixing mics, I'm seeing questions about audio, so hopefully that's helpful. Um, and we are doing a giveaway today. We are um, going to be giving away 10 issues of the Marvel Contest of Champions 2015 first issue. We're gonna be giving away 10 of those. We've seen some people with exclamation point ticket in chat. That's not how it works, don't do that. We are adjusting the way that we're doing these giveaways because we love, love, love to engage with you all in chat and I need to see everyone's messages. So the last stream was incredible. Incredible turnout, tons of people, lots of people chasing that first seven star. But it made the chat nearly unreadable. Uh, so what we're gonna do is hold off we're going to let you know what the specific word is. It's not exclamation point giveaway. And we will open it for a very specific five minute period later in the stream. We'll let you know when that time is. I see a question from SWE Wolf is, can we get the comics signed by some of the team? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. Let's go with that. Um, <laughs> but welcome, 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 everybody. Um, Let's go through some, some rules here. If this is your first time in an MCOC live stream, thank you so much for being here. This is my personal favorite way and a lot of the community team's favorite way to engage with the audience, to engage with our community, to say hey to all of the summoners here and share information. So thank you so much for being here. This is a fun space. We're here to enjoy ourselves. We're here to have a good time. We're here to chat about what's new and exciting. This isn't the place to start fights, uh, to be a jerk in chat, to um, try to I don't know, put it in the face of Kabam in some capacity. So we're here to have a good time. I hope that you all can buy into that. If not, this might not be the space for you. We do have mods hanging out in the chat. They're gonna be taking care of everything in there. They will also be monitoring for Q&A. If you have any questions throughout the stream about community, about the game, um, about the topics in today's stream, feel free to ask them and we'll see if we can address them later. Mods are gonna be patrolling for those comments specifically and they're gonna feed them to us here on set. So. Um, 
please respect the mods. They're doing a, a difficult job, and they're doing it very, very well. So um, shout out to our mods. I appreciate you guys. Um, seeing a lot of people coming in from Canal K9 stream. Thank you so much for being here, gang. And shout out to Brazil. Uh, Chris Red 702 first time chatter. Hello, hello, hello. Um, great. I'm excited. Let's dive into things. Let's get things going here. Um, I know we've got some concerns about mics. We're going to do a little hot switch. We've got Mike. Mike giving me a mic? Oh my goodness. What's that about? I don't know. We'll just have two for a minute. Hey, everybody. Is this any better for you? Hello from India, Pro Aditya. Hello, hello, hello. Scenes here, live from Kabam Studios. We're getting it done, whatever it takes. All right. Now I'm just going to hold the mic the whole time. This little itty bitty handheld mic. Um, OK, let's dive into some things here. I'm not going to hold it. We're going to clip it on. All right. Let's dive into Event Quest for May. So the Event Quest for May, Seed of Doubt. Um, Tasked with protecting the powerful world seed, the Guardians of the Galaxy, find a cozy corner of deep space to hide in. But the Guardians have a way of stumbling into trouble, and they soon find themselves rescuing Moon Dragon and arguing with Adam Warlock while also dodging attacks from all sides. Will the Guardians be able to convince their newly reunited compatriots that they can be trusted to keep their cosmically important cargo safe? Or will there be a seed of doubt? That's your event quest. Seed of Doubt this month. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. They are highlighting our two newest champions joining the contest that we will be discussing a little bit later. I don't know if you've all seen the release trailer for those, but we will also be showing that on stream in a little while here. It is very cool. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. Um, that's event quest. Let's dive into side quest. Escape from Titan. We got some new and exciting things um, outside of just the excitement of the side quest itself. Let's get you the narrative wrapper here. Titan is under attack. Moon Dragon's father, Drax, didn't know that personally, but now I do, has been informed. Uh, and with the help of the Guardians of the Galaxy, a recon mission is underway. But sometimes a family affair can be more dangerous than an encounter with your enemy. Each path and fight chosen will determine the next set of encounters, buffs, and debuffs. Uh, defeat each enemy along your way and escape Titan. So that's that for the narrative side. Now, something very, very exciting happening in side quest is we are rebalancing all of the difficulties. Threat levels one through five are going to shift a little bit. We are introducing Paragon difficulty. Threat level five is now targeting Paragon, Paragon accounts, all right? Now, before you freak out, they are getting a brand new set of rewards as well, and everything else is going to shift. Let's dive into that a little bit. So from a rewards perspective, threat level one is going to remain the same. Threat level two, three, and four will now see a shift from three, four, and five. Everything's moving up one. And then threat level five, as I said, will have a brand new set of rewards. And I looked at them, and I'm like, all right. That'll be something for me to chase in like six to eight months when I get to Paragon, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> from a difficulty perspective, uh, threat levels one and two are going to stay the same. Uh, despite threat level two getting a rewards bump, difficulty level is going to stay the same. Uh, threat levels four and five have shifted to three and four. And then threat level five has a new difficulty tuning targeting Paragon accounts. So for example, if you were um, previously completing threat level five as a, uh, sorry, as a throne breaker, as a toilet smasher, as we've said in the past, um, you will now find those same rewards and difficulty in threat level four. So everything shifts up one, uh, and it makes me really happy that I got Cavalier lately in my little baby account, because now I don't feel like I'm only competing in threat level two. It's an ego thing for me, purely, but I'm excited about it. Um, so that is all of the changes to um, side quest coming this month. Now, we also have some exciting stuff. Um, sorry, I see a question from uh, Durto98. Is threat level five only for Paragon? It will not be locked to progression. That's just the, the, when the game team is tuning it, that's who they're targeting. So side quest in the past, we don't lock the progressions to it. You can punch above your weight class, like me, if you want to spend <laughs> too many of my units to try to get all the goodies from this month's side quest. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to reach for it. So I think that's going to be great. Um, now. <clears throat> 
Hold on, let's get a sip here. Thank you for waiting for me to drink my water, everyone. Um, we have changes coming to Arena. And I think this is going to be pretty exciting, um, especially for those of you chasing Arena, your Arena grinders out there. So previously on Arena grinders, <clears throat> we have the old and busted here. Um, this is what you are used to. Um, there's a lot going on here. I know that a lot of you already understand this, so we're not going to dive into it too deep. But this is what we have coming to you, the new hotness. So. A number of things worth pointing out here. Previously, that six-star champ went to the first 100 people ranked in arenas. Now the six-star champ is going to the first 400. So making that availability a lot more widespread, um, it's going to be very, very cool. Um, I don't know. The game team just felt generous. I don't know the reasoning. Um, but also the five-star champion used to go to another 400 people between 101 and 500. Um, now it's going to the first 5% on the ranked leaderboards there. Um, and then we've upped all of the shards that are given away from six-star to five-star all the way throughout top to bottom. So even if you were in the lowest rank there, instead of the 255 star shards, you're not getting 1,000. So it's up, up, up for everyone. So those of you that are out there grinding arenas, this is a big change for you. If you don't grind arenas, maybe this is enough to uh, encourage you to do so. Um, I think this is a very, very cool change. Um, and I hope that you guys are pumped for this uh, diving into arenas here. You're welcome. <laughs> I made the slides again, so sorry about that, if that's a little sassy. Um, good, 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 good. Let's keep moving on here. We got one more thing before we dive into the new champions. Uh, something else that's very exciting, I would say, is our new Shooting Stars quest. This is permanent content that is being added, and it will start May 10th. It is there to celebrate the launch of seven stars on May 8th. So this is your quest that you go into once you get that first seven star. Um, this will be locked to Paragon progression. Um, all right, this is what we've written here. We know that you've been hoarding those six star shards and we know that many of you already have your seven star crystal shards waiting in the wings. Well. To celebrate the May 8th release of Seven Stars, the new Shooting Stars quest is coming to the Battle Realm May 10th. The Shooting Stars quest will enable and encourage Paragon Summoners to expand and empower their collection of Seven Star Champions. So Shooting Star quest will feature six maps with three paths on each. One path is unlocked for all Paragon players right off the hop to allow access to completion rewards. And then only those with five seven-star champions will be able to fully explore here. So basically what's happening is you dive in with your one, and as you have more seven stars on your roster, you unlock more paths to get more shards, to get more seven stars, to unlock more paths. See how that works there? See how that works there? Uh, fight your way through these new quests to acquire seven-star hero crystal shards, new paragon crystals, which feature four to seven-star champs. No, no three stars. Um, gold class ISO selectors uh, to help rank up your roster. The full event rewards include, if you were to clear everything, 9,000 seven star shards, 18 uh, paragon crystals, and more. So that'll be fun. Once you get your shiny new seven stars, you'll have somewhere to use them right away um, that isn't like Alliance War or Battlegrounds, where I think naturally you're going to want to go in and flex, your, flex all your strength there. Um, so this is going to be permanent account, uh, sorry, permanent content, so you don't have to stress if you're not there yet. By the time you get to Paragon, you'll have access to this right away. Right away, which I'm stoked for. I think it's going to be great. OK, let's talk about the new champs coming to the contest this month. Woo First up, we have Moondragon joining the contest as a skill champion, Mooney D, Moondragon. However you want to call it, is a skilled champion, a powerful telepath, master martial artist, minor telekinetic, and highly skilled geneticist. Moondragon's most notable characteristics are her shaved head, allegedly, and achieving excellence in virtually every area of human accomplishment. Unlike most Marvel characters who gain their paranormal abilities through birth or accident, Moondragon has achieved her extraordinary talents strictly through extreme degrees of personal regimen. Thank you, Wikipedia. I appreciate all that you've done for us in uh, educating the people on Moondragon. So we do have a, a video here that'll, uh, it's a portion 
of our deep dive into Moondragon. Moondragon looks cool, you guys. I didn't know a lot about Moondragon prior to um, them coming to the contest. I learned, and looking at these videos, she looks cool. She looks very, very cool. So we have a snippet from our deep dive. If you want to check out more, we have our special moves videos dropping on our YouTube channel. Go check it out, Marvel Contest of Champions on YouTube. Uh, the special moves video will drop tomorrow, and then we will have our deep dive starting Sunday for both champions. So go check those out. Uh, we're going to show you a little snippet here. This is the ideal rotation of Moon Dragon as our newest champ. Let's get that fired up for you. To begin. Start building your psionic charges by striking the opponent's block or punishing their basic attacks. If the defender isn't inflicting a poison, bleed, degen, or power sting effect, use your special one to gain additional charges. And once you reach 20, you'll enter psionic transcendence. But don't stop there. Stay aggressive and keep gaining your charges to keep it paused while stacking on more energy vulnerability debuffs. From here, launch your special 2 to burst the opponent down. And now that you're all ramped, you could repeat or take advantage of your increased critical rating on your heavy attack with your massive stack of energy vulnerability if you're in the mood to see some big yellow numbers. Now, let's check out some of her notable synergies. To begin. Start building your psionic charges by striking the opponent's block or punishing their basic attacks. If the defender isn't inflicting a poison, bleed, degen, or power sting effect, use your special- Alright, we're back. We thought it was so good that maybe you wanted to check it out again, but hey, go to the YouTube channel for Marvel Contest of Champions. We'll have the entire deep dive posted this weekend. Um, I hope you guys are excited. Moondragon, like I said, I didn't know a ton about, uh, but looking through their kit, looking through all of their skill sets, um, everything that they have going on, looks very, very cool. And again, the art, our team don't miss, you guys. Our team don't miss. Um, I believe we also have a, a turnaround of this champ that we can show you a little bit here. Like, look how cool they look. You look so cool, Mooney D. Um, Dim Cole in chat is asking, is Aiden going to be on this stream? I miss Aiden. Um, no, no, Aiden's not going to be here. But we do have another returning guest um, who's new, uh, newly energized is what I want to say. But we'll talk about that in a second here. Um, so I'm excited for Moon Dragon, but that's not the only champ that we have coming to the contest. Um, we have Adam Warlock joining the contest in May. Adam Warlock will be featured in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 in some capacity. I don't have any more insight into it than you do, but I'm excited for it. Um, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look how great he looks. Uh, maroon and gold, my favorite color combination. Um, but here to talk more about Adam Warlock, the one and only John. John, welcome to the show. Hold on. John. No. John. 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 Welcome to the show, John. What's your favorite color? Uh, probably blue. Great. Yeah. Great pick. Yeah, I love Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. That's yeah. a personal preference, I guess. Of course, yeah. Uh, so, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. Great Thanks for having to me. see you here. Yeah, happy to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, literally. <laughs> happy to be here. Um, so, Adam Warlock. You see, like, our beautiful screen here. We got mm -hmm. Adam and Moondragon both looking just so, so tough. Yeah. So tough. It looks great. Um, so you have a little bit more, no, let's, let's be honest. You have a lot more knowledge on this <laughs> champion than I do. Um, yeah. We just saw the turnaround. Mm -hmm. what's, like, what's your first gut reaction to having Adam join our, our, our contest here? Uh, yeah, he's probably just like the most chatted out of his mind character we have in the game. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah he's just like as buff as Hyperion. He's like, I don't know. I love the colors, the gold and maroon. Um, he also has like a ton of craziness in his kit. Uh, not only does he look like a Chad, he also like just totally takes over the entire fight. Um, tons of things in his kit to just let him kind of force his own narrative onto the opponent. Uh, he goes unblockable, he has taunt, he has infuriate, uh, sorry, intimidate, not infuriate. Mm. Um, and yeah, he just like will continuously just pummel the opponent over and over again. Uh, if there's any... <laughs> That'll make more sense uh, later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll have context on the birthing pod later, I swear. Uh, I do miss it, though, despite how gross it sounds. Uh, but he also does have uh, what is now 
known as the Stasis Pod, which is one of the coolest mechanics we've added to the game. Um, definitely some uh, flavor and inspiration from maybe some team-based shooters with ice characters that you may have seen before, uh, where, yeah, Adam has the ability to kind of just like go immune to pretty much everything that you could throw at him, tank a special or two, uh, and yeah, really use the Stasis Pod to his, uh, I don't know, best potential. Yeah, I know we talked um, a little bit <clears throat> Excuse me. I know we talked a little bit about intentionality when mm -hmm. we're creating champs. Like, where do we want them to thrive? Where mm -hmm. are we targeting their use? So where was it with Adam Warlock? Where did we intend? Mm -hmm. And then is that what ended up happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, originally Adam was being designed as, like, uh, defender first. Um, but uh, we felt that he's such a powerful character that he really needs to feel powerful in the player's hands as well. Um, so because of that, Adam's actually got a ton of attacker stuff in his loop. Like I was saying before, he does a really good job of controlling the fight. Um, his, I guess like what you would define as like regular utility isn't crazy, but he will just continuously pummel them. Um, he's got really good damage. He's still a very threatening defender as well. So he's going to be really, really good to bring into battlegrounds. Um, he will definitely slip up people that don't know how to deal with him, or if you bring the wrong matchup into him, he will be a very, very difficult defender. Um, but if you just need somebody to just be an absolute sledgehammer of utility, uh, he's also going to fit that bill. So before we uh, uh, discuss a little bit more about this, I know we have another video queued up, another rotation, ideal. Uh, you can kind of see everything on display here, narrated by the one and only Karate Mike. Shout out to Karate Mike, who's been doing fantastic work on these deep dives. But narration on point, education through the roof. Um, so let's take a look real quick at Adam Warlock's ideal rotation. To begin, perform a combo into the opponent's block to trigger your Sovereignty counter. Build to around 20 in the counter. Then bait a special attack if possible to keep their power low and back off to gain your Sovereignty buff. Hang back until your cooldown is over, then use your Intimidate debuff to trigger the counter again and build to just under your special 3. From here, it's time to launch your special 2 and begin your assault. Punish the defender if they attack your stasis pod, and then stay ultra aggressive while chaining your special 1s and building up the rest of your buffs. When necessary, you could double tap block to trigger your stasis pod manually and keep your combo string alive. Then continue this until you reach 40 in your counter to trigger your stackable fury. If the opponent isn't already knocked out, once your sovereignty cooldown is over, strike into the opponent's block once more to start your cycle again, but this time with even bigger yellow numbers. Alternatively, if you're up against a smaller health pool, you could simply start your sovereignty counter and keep your combo string alive until the opponent is knocked out. Now, let's check out some of his notable synergies. So that's our first look at Adam Warlock. Again, shout out to Karate Mike. Check out the deep dives when they come out this weekend. It's a ton of work that goes into them and I use them to learn almost every single champ that I'm learning. It's like, I literally broke it down. We have so many champs in this game that if I tried to learn one champ in a day, it, and I only did it on work days, it would take me over a year to learn every champion in this game. <laughs> um, so let me ask you one very important question. Is Adam Warlock broken? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, from, you can see there, he just pretty much ignores whatever the defender is going to do. Um, if they're being really annoying and they're not throwing their specials, he's got a taunt. If they... Um, have auto block or tons of damage resist. He doesn't care because he'll go unblockable or he'll do true damage. Um, if it's a fight where you, they have really, really scary specials and you feel like, oh, like I could just get one hit by this crazy multi-hit special at any moment, uh, you just go into your stasis pod and you, you're in your safe space there. Nobody can touch you and hurt you. Uh, in your little safe space. There. Yeah, you're, uh, you're immune to pretty much everything. You regen all the damage that you take in the pod. Uh, he's pretty bonkers. Um. <laughs> yeah, so we, we saw the stasis pod for the first time. 
Um, I think it looks very cool. It's definitely a very unique mechanic. Like, we haven't seen anything like that from any other champion that I can mm -hmm. think of. Um, but it was, you told me initially, called the Birthing Pod? Yeah, originally it was called the Birthing Pod. Uh, and even in like the design docs, it was Birthing Pod in brackets. I will come up with a new name, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> so originally that's what it was, which is, I think, thematically more fitting of what it is. Um, that's this little hibernation chamber. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's really cool, too. It's um, as a player, you can actually activate it with double time block. Uh, I think Mike was talking about it in that video or from your special two. Um, so yeah, you can use it to really try and get out of a sticky situation. Um, something else to touch on too, uh, this was made by the same designer as Mortal Hulk. Uh, oh, cool. So the, uh, the fist icon you see there, uh, which is his sovereignty counter, um, is very much inspired by Immortal Hulk's uh, fury and gamma charges. Mm -hmm. And so that pure aggressive play style is very much uh, almost like a cosmic Immortal Hulk. Um, with a little bit more safety with the uh, stasis pod. I think that's great. We have a question coming in from the mm -hmm. chat. So Finland, F-I-N-L-Y-N-N-D, not mm -hmm. the country. Um, so buff control is Adam Warlock's weakness. Is that a solid counter to Adam? Is that his best you're going to get <laughs> to countering Adam? Uh, probably not. Um, in typical Adam fashion, as he does with everything else on the defender, uh, you try to stop him and he just says no. Um, so when you see uh, in the fight there uh, that, that fist counter gets high enough, he activates enough of his sovereignty counter, he will activate his sovereignty buff. It looks kind of like a sun. Um, there it is in the top left there, it's about halfway down. You can see that all of his buffs now have a yellow icon instead they're of so a white pretty. icon. Yeah, they're a little golden, a little incandescent. Yeah. Um, and those are actually sovereign buffs. And sovereign buffs, I believe, are immune to nullify and fate seal and then also neutralize. Um, so, yeah, you cannot really shut him down. Um, the, the best way you can deal with him, funny enough, is Soul Barb, uh, which is mostly just on Mordo at the moment. Maybe we'll explore a little bit more of it in the future. You'll have to wait and see. Um, but, yeah, there's not a lot of ways to shut Adam down right now. Um, the Sovereignty buffs are incredibly powerful, uh, very, very sticky. They don't last a really long time, so you have to play very, very aggressive to keep Adam going. All of his buffs are very short duration. Um, if you parry, you will lose most of them as well. So uh, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, like, he is excellent, but mm -hmm. it's also a bit of a high skill ceiling to be able to manage those rotations. Yeah, he definitely uh, makes it a lot easier on you with the taunt and the uh, intimidate. I believe it's intimidate. I, if it's infuriate, that's my bad. But um, the, the two debuffs that he applies to the opponent makes it a lot easier for him to stay aggressive. Uh, your opponent will be more likely to throw specials during your entire damage loop. All of his buffs will pause during the opponent's specials and your specials. Um, so he's really, uh, yeah, if I were to compare him to other, any other character, he's kind of uh, uh, taken all the learnings from Immortal Hulk and the things that stop Immortal Hulk from being aggressive just all the time mm -hmm. uh, and just bringing them in. So he's um, just going to be pushing the limit constantly. Cool. I love that. I love to see it. I think it's also worth talking about our balance program as well mm -hmm. because... Again, the balance program works in a way that we evaluate how champs are performing compared to the intentionality in creating them. Mm -hmm. We want to see them thrive in X capacity. Are they doing that um, or are they faltering on that? So um, what do you kind of anticipate? I mean, it's really difficult to say. It's so early <laughs> with no data whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, but how do you expect that process to look when reevaluating Adam Warlock a few months down the line here? Yeah, I mean, the, the way that we'll look at Adam uh, in the same way we look at most champions with this is, uh, yeah, like you were saying, the, the goals of the original design is really the main thing that we'll focus on there. Um, so with Adam, one of the things we talked about a lot is actually like what he looks like as a defender, um, as well as he shouldn't be like the be all answer, like be all end all answer for like anything. We don't want somebody, somebody in the same realm of like Hercules. Um, Hercules is obviously a fan favorite, but he's a little bit too good across the board. Uh, so we want to avoid that kind of stuff. So with Adam being as powerful as he is, we're fully expecting him to be like one of the strongest cosmics in the game. He should be incredibly powerful. Um, so we would not want to take that away at all. We just want to make sure that he will definitely be hitting that note of a very powerful defender, uh, as well as not getting used just kind of anywhere you can use him. Yeah. 
Um, before we dive a little bit more into Adam Warlock, I do want to remind everybody that we are doing a giveaway later in the stream. We will give you the activation entry um, catchphrase, <laughs> words for that. So don't worry, we're going to open it up for five minutes, flood the chat with entries, um, and um, then we'll shut it down. We'll draw winners all at once. So stick around for that. We are giving away 10 copies of the first issue of the 2015 Marvel Contest of Champions comic, hard copy. Um, we are only able to mail them to people in Canada and the US. Again, with our stream as it grows, we are looking for new and different ways to engage you all in the chat. Um, so we're looking for ways like perhaps digital issues of things in future. We've talked a lot about Twitch drops, which rewards you just for watching the stream, which I think is gonna be really, really great as well. Um, so we are looking for ways to kind of diversify, change it up, maybe in-game stuff, maybe some merch stuff, that sort of thing. So um, again, we've talked about this before. You guys being here is essential for us to be able to continue doing these live streams, to continue to hang out with you guys this way. Um, and as you can see, the more that you buy in, the more we're able to do here. We do have these fancy brand new uh, borders for all of our stream uh, overlays here. Uh, they look great. Shout out to Matt for doing that from the video team. Um, but yeah, that's what we have going on in just a little while. Back to Adam Warlock. Hey, what did you, prior to him being introduced to the contest, how much did you know about Adam Warlock? Mm, I knew an okay amount. I never personally like read any of the stuff that he'd been in, but I yeah. know what he's been in. So uh, I knew how important he was in the original Infinity Gauntlet run. Um, very surprised that we didn't actually see him in any of the, the MCU version of that because he was one of the key players in that whole arc. Uh, and then obviously I know that he's going to be a really big part of the new Guardians of the Galaxy. Similar situation to you. I don't know what that means. I don't yeah. know anything more about the movie than you guys do other than um, this big Chad is in it. Um, Will Port... Polter. Poltier? Will. That's the actor who okay. they cast. Um, I'm excited to see the, the film next Friday. Yeah. Wow, soon. Very snuck soon. up on me. Uh, I think that that's going to be very, very cool. I think he is going to be an awesome addition to the contest. I played um, the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy game, Eidos Montreal. Shout out to you guys for making that. Adam Warlock's in that. His character's pretty entertaining, but that's the thing with anything comics is like you can see him in one comic run and then another one, and they've really changed those characters pretty mm -hmm. substantially. I think that that is pretty great. Um, I think that's what makes comics so unique. And the storytelling mm -hmm. is just always insane. I love it. I'm really excited to see what Adam Warlock does in the movies, as well as our game. I think he's gonna be I think he's gonna be a hot ticket. I think people are gonna be <laughs> all over Adam Warlock. Yeah, Cosmics have definitely been some of the hardest hitting champions we've had for a while. I think like one of the last most notable ones being Gallon, for example. Uh, people love that guy. Cosmics always a popular and powerful class. Yeah. So. Yeah, everyone's, uh, I mean, people have called it out. So another OP cosmic. <laughs> it's like, I mm mean, -hmm. uh, again, to reiterate, the giveaway has not been opened. Exclamation point giveaway or giveaway exclamation point isn't the right term. So you don't need to do that right now. We'll give you all the information when the time comes uh, in probably 15 to 20 minutes here. So, um, John, anything else worth mentioning before we move away from Adam Warlock? Or even Mooney, Mooney D, Moondragon, uh, Moondegron? I think, yeah, I don't have a ton of personal experience with Moondragon. I didn't spend too much time with her, but I think she's looking awesome. She looks uh, cool. Yeah, like the, the huge burst damage that she can do on her specials. I, love, uh, I think it's her special too, where they just like float in the air and she just ignores everything that happens to her. It's pretty great. Um, so I'm looking to see what people end up doing with that. Yeah, I think the way that we are Add, it, it blows my mind every time. I'm not a champ designer for good reason. Um, but the way that we still find creativity and new approaches mm -hmm. to champs when realistically <laughs> we were limited by how much we can actually do mm -hmm. when we put this champ into, into, the, character, into uh, the player's hands. So I'm always really kind of blown away by how excellent <laughs> the team is at finding new and creative <laughs> ways to keep all of these uh, champs fresh and, and new and mm -hmm. exciting and they play different and I think that's so, 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 so cool. Um, cool, let's transition now. Uh, again, we'll be doing the giveaway in about 15 to 20 minutes, but let's dive into Guess a Champ version 2.0. So if you've joined us for one of our earlier Kabam official MCOC live streams, we did something 
called Guess a Champ. Um, a little backstory on this one, and we've got John. John's going to play along. John does know the answer to the first one, so he'll be quiet for that. Um, but this is your opportunity to uh, basically play along with a little bit of a trivia game. The backstory is thus. My mother is an uh, intelligent human, but has never, does not watch movies, has no idea what the MCU is, knows very little about comics. Um, I think in my life I've watched her, I know that she's watched three movies. When I was a kid, we went and saw the first Spider-Man film in theaters, shout out Tobey Maguire. And uh, spoiler alert, it happens constantly, I'm sure you already know, but in case you don't, earplugs, Uncle Ben gets shot, my mom left the theater and never came back, <laughs> and I don't know that she knows anything else. So I called her up and I said, hey, I'm gonna show you pictures of champs from our game can you describe them to me? Now I'm gonna take those descriptions and give them to you, and you're gonna to try to see if you can figure out what Mama Jax was trying to talk about here, what champ we're discussing, um, and we'll go from there. I, and again, to her level of credit and knowledge, to paint a picture for you guys, like really paint a picture. For Christmas, she sent me a Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Lego advent calendar, which was mm -hmm. really cool, <clears throat> and when I got it, she said, those are your people, right? And I went, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they sure are. Um, all right. So we've got five champions to get into here. Let's take a look at the first one. Champion number one, <clears throat> the very first thing that she had to say when taking a look at the first champion here was gut instinct told her Foxy Riverdance Square Dancer. Foxy. Riverdance, Square Dancer. Again, Riverdance and Square Dance, two very different styles of dance. I don't think there's almost any overlap there. I see a lot of guesses in chat. None of them right so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's dive into the next one. I will say that this first one is the most difficult one. The, the other ones get a little bit easier. <laughs> But not by much. Uh, it look, I said, why that? She said, it looks like they're about to hold someone's hands like square dance for river dance. Again, not the same, <laughs> very different, but we can keep going here. One more, intense, like you just tell, totally a villain, very confident, very confident on this one. Still seeing lots of guesses and still none of them are right. All right, keep it going here. It's a river dance outfit, really locked in on the theme yeah. and stuck to it. Uh, continuing on, I said, hey, if they were part of a super team, what do you think that super team would be called? Uh, and she said, the touring dance partners. <laughs> she, I think for most of these, locks in a, locks in a theme and sticks with it. Yeah. And then they have, my mother has dubbed this champion, Kiera in Chains. I think an Alice in Chains reference. I don't really know why. Um, any last minute guesses before we show you here? This is a tough one. This is a tough one. I don't know that I've seen anyone get it right. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, this leads you very astray. Um, no one. All right, let's take a look <laughs> at the answer here. It was Scarlet Witch. So this was the image I sent her, and I think just the knee bend, she was like, oh, yeah, that's dance. Yeah. And then you pointed out as well that the boots, yeah, maybe. Boots. The boots, maybe. Um, so I've seen people asking about chains. Why chains? Um, <laughs> Apparently, she interpreted the circles, the energy circles around her hands as chains. So she thought, yeah, care and yeah, chains. Psychic chains, maybe? Maybe uh, psychic chains. Um, show of hands, did anyone get that right? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Okay. Like I said, that was the toughest one. That was the toughest one. We'll hopefully get some correct answers on the next one. Let's take a look at champ number two. All right, champ number two, coming in hot. This champ is a mutation for sure. That's gonna mess with me because I don't think she knows what mutants are. Well, that's the thing is, it's not a mutant. This is a mutation. <laughs> not a mutant, keep in mind. Okay. <laughs> not a mutant necessarily. All right. A mutation. Okay, second one. Could have been an insect at one time. <laughs> in a former life, maybe. Maybe, <laughs> at one time. Could have been. We'll never know. Um, there claws look like scales is the next one. Their claws look like scales. Standard. Sure. Why not? I asked what powers do you think this champion has? Gives everybody an allergic reaction was the response. <laughs> and that's definitely not um, right, but is an awesome superpower. That would be. You could be such this. a quick villain. Like you'd be a villain so quickly. You walk in the room, everyone's eyes swell yeah. up. 
<laughs> Nobody can see you. You can be, you could rob banks because you could walk in and everyone was just like, swell shut and yeah. you just walk in only walk downside out. everyone sneezes around you no True. stealth yeah and bad for staying healthy oh yeah 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 i um, seeing a lot in here um, none right so far none right so far but you guys are in the right el- the right um, realm here you guys are moving in the right direction I think all right let's take a look at the next one <laughs> asked for an origin my mother said they fell into the chemical puddle and the chemicals did this to them. True story. <laughs> Added true story. <laughs> so I guess feeling uh, very confident. That means it's canon then. Um, right? yeah. I'm being told by Mike in the other room that Shot of Doom already has this one correct, but I'm not seeing many more. I'll point that out, but we got one. Shout out to Shot of Doom. Um, their name. Oh, sorry, sorry. One more before their name. Yep. They look like they work out, but I don't think they do. I, I think the chemical beef, chemicals beefed up their muscles. Right? Okay. She, again, locked into the theme of chemicals. I didn't give it to her. Yeah. I don't know how she got there, but we're here. I see one other correct answer in chat. We're getting closer. And the name that they dubbed this champion was the Itchy Horned Beetle. Itchy Horned Beetle. I made them change their initial guess. That's the second edition. John, do you have any guesses? I'm going to say Rintra. Rintra? Okay. Because okay. horns. Summoners, last opportunity for you all to get your answers in the chat. I, again, I've seen a couple people get it right. Um, Brick EP coming in with a correct answer. This, of course, is Mangog. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and honestly, it kind of makes sense. Those yeah. claws do look more like scales than claws to me. It's true. They kind of look like larvae, too, so I can see the bugs true. coming out. True. I've always thought him as probably the oilish, most oily champion in the game as well. <laughs> uh, he looks like he just only eats bacon all the time. <laughs> He's greased up. Yeah. All right. How many people got that one right? <laughs> Not even close. Yeah. All right. Let's dive into the next one. So champ number three, th- apparently this image specifically, uh, <laughs> is coming out of the swamp and eats that bad insect, apparently referencing Mangog. I had to ask okay. for clarification. I was pretty confused for a second there. Um, this champ has to be giant then. I mean, to be fair, she doesn't have the scale of the side-by-side. Yeah. Mangog but could be like this tiny. True. Mangog could be like Ant-Man, just running around. Oh yeah. my god, how cute would little Mangog be? <laughs> Not <laughs> cute at all. <laughs> just running around, kicking yeah. people. Um, okay, the, the next thing we got here. Uh, leaps and can fly like a flying squirrel. I thought it was very... I was very grateful that she gave me an example of something that could fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so keep in mind, I saw a lot of man, I saw a lot of man things um, from the first guest. Leapson can fly. Might, might be swaying you away from that one a little bit. Um, this one <laughs> is not going to help anyone. Was a Boy Scout because that's his little Boy Scout pouch. And then he drank the chemical Kool-Aid and look at him now. I don't know where she locked into chemicals, but apparently all superheroes, chemicals. It is a, a pretty big through line, to be fair. We have an entire class know, build around it. She doesn't know that either, though. It's <laughs> wild. You're right. You're right. Maybe she's been studying between. Yeah. Um, I've seen a few correct answers in chat for this one. So you guys are, I told you, the first one was the toughest. We're on, our, we're on the right path now. Uh, I asked for a catchphrase. And she said, Scout's honor. <laughs> I think I'm, she just locked into the Boy Scout pouch. Yeah, I'm and, totally lost. Yeah, no, I know. It's throwing people off. It might, again, it's going to make sense later. But for now, it makes no sense at all. <laughs> uh, when asked about their powers... Leaps on people, and he his teeth aren't big, so he doesn't bite people. Was the conclusion? She okay. didn't. She didn't no give me an affirmative. She didn't tell me what he does do, <laughs> but she did tell us what he does not do. Yeah, walks in a room, doesn't bite people. Does not bite people. Confirmed. Locked okay. in. <laughs> um, oh, I'm geez. seeing people, even very confident people, getting this right, and their name was dubbed the Boy Scout Grasshopper. Man. Any guesses? Uh, I don't know. I was going to say Wiccan. It's definitely not Wiccan, but that was the first person I thought of. Let's take a look here. Uh, shout out to uh, Thunder Jado. First time chatter coming in. The first thing they say is a correct answer. Of course, this champion is 
Sauron. Oh. See the little pouch on his oh, belt? What? How did How? you not say anything about dinosaurs? She actually didn't. Sometimes I like go through and edit, yeah. and I'm like, okay, let's, that's too obvious. But I didn't on this one. Oh <laughs> she my did goodness. not mention a dinosaur. But see his little teeth too? Yeah, I can see it. His All right. teeth. <laughs> Those are pretty big teeth. Well, because he's get big. By that. Because he's big, you know. Okay, it's all scary. I don't know how Grasshopper, I see people asking questions. I don't know. <laughs> he's green. Yeah, Meredith says uh, green Ridley. Shout out to Meredith in chat. <laughs> Sauron. Um, shout out to the nerd on YouTube. Apparently got that one right as well. Um, again, if you guys are hanging out on YouTube, hey, so grateful to have you guys here. Love that you're hanging out. But if you want to engage with the rest of the community and hang out and chat in a way that I can see and call you out, come hang out at twitch.tv slash kabam. Make a quick account. Follow. We're going to be trying to do these basically twice a month. Um, and, and we've got some exciting things planned. So come and hang out at Twitch dot tv slash kabam i know it can be intimidating if you're not familiar with it but i promise it's a ton of fun over here we got giveaways we got stuff and things i swear i'm having fun john's having a good time he good does time. not want to be back at his desk right <laughs> no, now not at all. he's feeling stimulated he's yeah. excitable all right champ number four <laughs> here ba -ba boom um, I said it gets easier. It does not really with this one he informs the planet and when he finds the chemical spills he reports them Okay, more chemicals. More chemicals. <laughs> Completely is, unrelated. The entire MCU is just based off it's of chemicals. It's only chemicals, spills. you guys. Yeah. It's all coming together now. I yeah. Um, everyone's afraid to go against the big chem uh, chemical companies, but he's not. That mm -hmm. was the next one. Because I said, that doesn't really sound like a superpower. That sounds like something anyone can do. Yeah. And she said, no, uh, 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 because everyone's afraid to go against big uh, chem. Right? You got any gut instinct? He instant. walks into a room, mm -hmm. is brave. He informs them. Yeah. Let's them know. That's it's fair. mostly just a bravery thing. Yeah. You got any gut instinct leading you on this one? Uh, hmm. I immediately thought it was just like Captain America. Cool. Maybe, maybe Spider-Man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Moving on, I asked for an alter ego. If this person was trying to blend in, who are okay. they? Just a gamer, like a hoodie dude, nondescript, wears a knit cap, jeans and running shoes. Is from Vancouver. Um, Basically. Yeah, yeah. That's um, not right. You might be onto something there. Is is a knit cap? A she toque? means toque, yeah. Okay. Which, uh, which, or beanie? Which most people would know as beanie, but yeah. here in Canada we call it a toque. Okay. We call it a toque. Um, John might have accidentally stumbled into a big clue on this one, Ooh. everybody. May A B. Um, asked for powers. She said can break through security, which again, also not really a superpower. No. Not really. I think that's like a pretty consistent issue that that, that happens regularly. <laughs> despite people not having superpowers. Lots of people do it. Um, yeah. Shout out to uh, Just LaCope in chat who said Captain Planet. Yeah, she basically described Captain Planet. <laughs> this is what <laughs> happened here. Um, dubbed, apparently lots of people getting this one. Mike's calling out from the other room. Um, good for you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last bit of detail here. The name Captain Climate Change. <laughs> and I said... That sounds like this person is on the side of climate yeah. change. So she <laughs> changed it. Thinking. She changed it, and the new name is Captain Fighting Climate Change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just only thinking of Don Cheadle now, so it's got to be War Machine. <laughs> um, POJ Simpson says Canada Man. <laughs> Pretty close. Oh, okay. Of course, the answer is... Guardian. Nice. Yeah, shout out to Abby's Mouse and uh, CS Monroe. I see some correct answers for you guys. That, of course, is Guardian. Don't forget, informs the people. He's not afraid of Big Chem. Yeah. Also, not afraid of security. Nope. Not even, no threat whatsoever. I, li I like that she looks at this person and is like, yeah, he's dressed really... But he just does normal people stuff. <laughs> he just dresses up like that and just does normal he's, people stuff. He looks stuff. like he's flying. He's actually just <laughs> jumping off a diving board. Yeah, yeah. He's just a swimmer. That's just a swim, uh, like, yeah. a real, like a really big swim cap. He's <laughs> looking for the chemical spills in the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Has anyone gotten three or, or let's see, two or more? Two or more correct so far? Um, all right. We got one. One more here. Let's dive into the last one. Um, this is the final one. He's the dragonfly's dad. Remember, the dragonfly a... is apparently also Soren. A grasshopper, a grasshopper. Also. <laughs> yeah, I'm so lost. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, 
this one's this one's pretty obvious, but I just think it's excellent. So uh, it gets more obvious. <laughs> Let me point that out. <laughs> Wherever he was, it's cold. That's why he's wearing boots and gloves. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Must be from Canada then, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> On this next one, he uses his wings when he's saving people. He flies away and they hold the hook on his wings. And I said, how does he fly using his wings if someone's <laughs> holding the hook on the wings? And she said, he has superpowers, don't be dumb. Okay. <laughs> That's, I mean, makes sense. That's, can't argue with that. Yeah, yeah. that's good logic. No, that's... Um, lots of people getting this right already. Again, I knew this would be an easy one, but it's just very good. Moving to the next slide here. We got a part two. There's too many, too many descriptors in this one. Yeah, almost unanimous. People got this one. Okay, this is what she had to say. With that sword, there's five blue dots, and each dot turns the sword into a special weapon. He pushes one, and it's fire. He pushes another one, and it's shooting bullets. The <laughs> other one, sword. if... Uh, it could be shooting, what are those things that ninjas have that they throw at people? And I said, are the ones that are star-shaped? She said, yeah, what are those called? And I went, uh. She said, okay, let's call them ninja stars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> she really is just stumbling into like the perfect answer. She somehow gets things right without knowing at yeah, all what's happening. That's funny. Um, okay, two more things for you here. When he's successful, he pushes one of the blue buttons and confetti comes out of the sword. <laughs> And that celebrates. That's, it's a rainbow button. It's actually, just like, yeah. a pew. I think nice. it's excellent. I think that um, this champion does not exist, but we should make it yeah. exactly this way. Um, and the last bit of information that you need uh, is the name Silver Sworded Dragonfly Superhero. Okay. Superhero this, in the name. This has got to be Hulkling then. Feeling pretty confident. Again, seeing a lot of correct yeah. answers in here. Shout out Miles1599, first time chatter, coming in with the correct answer. Kai2010904, also. Lots of people getting this one. It is, of course, Hulkling. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty apt. You can see the hooks Sniped. there, which is yeah. a detail that I would not have locked in on by I any just, means. I just thought of wings and sword. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, we, have, we have a. Uh, set of solo objectives for this month's, this mm -hmm. coming month's side quest called uh, Lethally Blonde. So nice. shout out to Gallon. I forget Gallon has blonde hair. Hulkling. What did I say? Gallon. Yeah, not the same. Ah, uh, pretty much. They're yeah. both from space. Both from space? Yeah. I appreciate you getting me there. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. Giving me some credit where I definitely don't <laughs> deserve it. Um, how many people got four or more? Again, I don't know that anyone got Scarlet Witch. Uh, that was a <laughs> tough one. Anyone get four, though? Um, Bush was in late and got two out of three right. Good for you. They were released in the same month. Thank you, Neptune Rockstar. Give me a little more credit. Two out of five. I see an O. Tone Yardy with three. Um, zero. And you know what? That's fine. This is a safe place. You guys can, you guys can stumble on this one. That's completely fine. Um, some threes. Good for you guys. Lots of threes. Good on you. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's change gears here. We're going to get into our giveaway. Once nice. again, we are giving away 10 copies of Marvel Contest of Champions from 2015, issue one. Once again, we are only able to ship our comics to people in Canada or the US. If you want to enter this and you win and you're not there, we unfortunately cannot ship it to you. But if you hey, say, like, you have a pal or like an alliance mate, how cool Whoa. would that be? I think that would be really sweet. So if you are not able to win this for yourself and you could maybe ship it to someone else, a friend or man, like elaborate plot here, you tap into an alliance mate, you say, I'm gonna ship it to you, then you ship it to me. There's lots of ways through this. We wanna do a number of different giveaways. We're trying to change it up. Of course, we gave away seven star last stream. We oh stated goodness. very quickly that they cannot all be of that caliber. Yeah. So we're no, gonna change it up. Big. We got some physical merch. We got some in-game stuff. I think it's, it's it, we're, gonna, nice. we're gonna find some fun here. Um, yeah, yeah, win it for a friend, Rax is saying. I think that's great. Uh, <laughs> shout out to POJ Simpson who said, Jax is new Wolverine confirmed. <laughs> I can show up as Wolverine for one of these things. Action Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool, so we are going to open this giveaway. I'm gonna press the button on my end here. Let's give it a second. The giveaway has started. You are going to use the code exclamation point comic in chat 
it is going to get you uh, all of the entries that you need here. Again, we're going five minutes. We're just flying by here. Get all your entries in. We will close it down. We will pick all of the winners. Uh, if you do not see a ticket that says, sorry, if you do not see a message that says you got a ticket, don't worry, the system gets overwhelmed. Um, there are already uh, close to 200 of you diving in. We got five minutes for this. We got exclamation point comic. John, I got a surprise for you. Oh. And probably a lot of people who haven't seen this yet because it only just went up, but we have a very, very, very cool champion reveal trailer for Adam Warlock and Moon Dragon. Something nice. new, a little bit different. I don't want to say it's brand new, but it's definitely a bit of a departure from the way that we normally reveal our champions. It is a very cool video. Um, while you all flood your answers, uh, sorry, your responses into Twitch with exclamation point comic. Again, worth pointing out, thank you uh, to Zabit in, um, within our uh, mod team. You have to be at Twitch, twitch.tv slash kabam. If you are at YouTube, you cannot enter through the YouTube chat. Please come to twitch.tv slash kabam, make an account. You got five minutes to get it done. I believe in you. This is where all of the giveaways are happening. Um, and come hang out. We have, again, over 400 tickets in for people trying to win wow. these comics. Um, but while we leave that open for everyone to dive in here into the giveaway, we're going to show you guys this little video. And I'm excited for it. So that is one of our, I think, coolest things that we've put out in, in, uh, in a little while here. I think it's mm -hmm. awesome. We were talking about it. John, that was your first time seeing it. What yeah. do you think? Well, it was through. awesome. I think it's cool. A little foolish of the Guardians to try and fight such a powerful cosmic character. Yeah. They're pretty much all tech. They yeah. should know that it's not going to work it's out. It's not going to work. A little bit foolish on Star Wars <laughs> part, but I guess that comes with it. Yeah. Um, I think uh, that's a really, really cool trailer. And you pointed out Warlock. Taking it off the chin. Adam Warlock yeah. just taking it a shot right off the face. Nothing. He's just a Chad. Just he, kept going. He can't do anything. Indestructible. Um, again, we have the giveaway open for probably another two to three minutes. You will only receive one entry into the giveaway. So if you've already entered, no need to hop in again. Again, use exclamation point comic for your chance to win. Um, I see someone calling out. What do we got here? Hulkbuster N1. Zemo's video was cooler. <sighs> Hot take. Wow. Hot take. Um, I'm really excited. I'm excited to see Adam Warlock in our game. I'm mm. excited to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 next week as well. That's yeah. like a week from today. Yeah, it's really soon. Dang. Oh, April's almost over. That's oh, crazy. no. Where does the time go? <laughs> what, was the, what was your highlight of April? Oh, man. Jeez. Uh, I guess like... Well, I can't really say most of the work stuff. Uh, lots of Battlegrounds stuff for me is what I'm looking forward to. I'm glad that you mentioned Battlegrounds because it makes the segue really easy. I, we've talked a lot about what mm. we want to do with live streams. We are mm. very curious to know what the summoners want to learn about or want to engage with or, or chat about. And even if it's more laid back, casual stuff. Mm -hmm. For us to kind of progress on Twitch, we might have to hit certain thresholds for like time streamed gotcha. in a 30 day period or like how many times we're live. So we're like, well, what can we do that maybe would be like three or four streams in a week back to back to back to back mm -hmm. and one of my favorite ideas and who knows if it goes anywhere but one of my favorite ideas is that we do an internal battlegrounds tournament uh -huh. so we've had a number of people on streams already yourself aiden's been on twice mm -hmm. uh, we brought on kevin initially like we'll bring on more personalities so you know summoners have a bit of familiarity yeah and then in my head 
this is like a professional wrestling. <laughs> like everyone comes in in costume. Uh, they have a character name. I'm There's so There's a little in. bit of trash talk before oh, it. Yeah. It gets intense, and we do like three matches. So there's four people to start, two like semifinal matches, and then a championship match. Nice. And we crown people like the number one office champion. Nice. So if that's one of my ideas. Do it with just people that have been on stream and I will yep. crush everybody. Please do not go any further than that. Otherwise, my ego will be shattered. <laughs> no chance. But There's many people much better than me they? here now. Okay. Oh yeah, definitely. I think that's important. We, we've discussed this, you and I, on in publicly facing conversations many yeah. times that people are like, oh, they don't even play their own game. We do, we play it a lot. Yeah. Um, John's very good at it. I'm still very new, mm -hmm. but there are people that are top, tippy toppy um, oh, yeah. alliances. Like people I will are say, I, I'm probably better than most of the people watching us. Uh, that I can say confidently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite things about Battlegrounds too, is you, it's one of the only game modes where you hop in and you really get to see like your own personal skill. Uh, I know even for me, like going into it, I was just like, uh, maybe I'm not actually as good as I thought. But then I was able to climb through and I, I reassured myself over time. Um, but <laughs> I, I thought for a moment, maybe I'm not that good. Yeah. Then I remembered, no, I am. <laughs> but yeah, we, we do have some of the best players around the world here. So yeah. um, I think that's great. Okay, we're going to go for maybe another 30 seconds to a minute with this draw here. And then we're going to pull up some winners. Um, I'm going to take a little video so that we have all the information uh, officially locked down because the system can be a little bit janky. I think we can only pull three winners at a time. So we're gonna pull three, clear the board, pull another three, clear the board. Again, if you are lucky enough to have your name read as a winner, please check your Twitch DMs, your direct messages. Only trust messages directly from the Kabam account. Um, we will be reaching out to you this afternoon, all of the winners. Um, we will be looking for contact information. Again, we are only able to ship to Canada or the US for this deal specifically. If you need to gift it to a friend or something like that, please let us know. Um, we will have 48 hours of open communication um, from the time that we send that initial message. So please, please, please take a look this evening, take a look in the morning, whatever that info may be, uh, and get us some, some, some info. Just banter back and forth. Okay, how's everyone doing? Anyone need one extra second? We now have 773 wow. entries looking for comics here. It's a lot of people hungry for comics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lots sure of questions about it just everything, which I think is great as well. Wow, look at that. This could be yours. <laughs> Hold it up. Hold it up. Look at that. Make it look good. Look how big it is. Vanna White. I don't know. You're probably not aware of how big my head is, but this comic is quite large. <laughs> Okay, everyone, we are going to be closing in five, four, three, two, one. Closed. 785 entries Ooh. into our draw here. A relevant viewer is the first one in. Congratulations. Not necessarily winner, but first one into the draw. Very once it aptly opened up. named for the first person in. Wow, I didn't even think about that, John. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, John. Okay, let's dive into some answers here. Let's get some winners. Uh, again, I'm going to fire up this so that we can pull them. There will be um, a message that populates in the chat to let you guys know who the winners are, but we're going to do it this way as well. All right. Recording. First winner is Panding Opool. P-A-N-D-I-N-G Opool. If you guys hear your name read off and you're uh, a winner, please hop in the chat and tell us that you're here. I would love that. Um, Yig. Congratulations, Y-E-I-G. And we've got Felganon, F-E-L-G-A-N-O-N. -E um, we also have Anime Catwoman, who actually, I remember your name because you were one of the first people at the last live stream we did, and you said, I love these live streams. Thank you for doing them. Keep doing them. And I remember you. Keep in mind, gang, we're seeing your comments and we remember you all. And I'm excited for the, the point in time where we do these enough that we're like, oh yeah, we have regulars that we can mm -hmm. interact with every time. I'm See, stoked. Pays off to come back too, you could win a comic. Pays off to come back, you love to see it. Um, Hylozoi, H-Y-L-O-Z-O-I-I-Z, -I -I -Z. that's right, Canada stuff. All right, that's <laughs> five. Uh, who else do we have here? Uh, Diclofenaco, <laughs> two, two. Nope, 2323. Three, two, three. Uh, D I K L O F E N 
more letters. They're gone off my screen now. Sorry, everybody. Uh, Omar um, SXRST. That's seven. Moving along here. Darth, Re uh, Darth Revan, 2651. Uh, Saint Shorty, ST Shorty, congratulations. And last but not least, Annex70. Congratulations, everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining our giveaway. This is the first time we've given away physical merchandise live on the stream. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for entering. Thank you for trying. Uh, everybody, again, if you are on YouTube, please come over to twitch.tv slash kabam. We're going to be trying to do... I don't know that we can guarantee one giveaway every stream, but we're going to try and do something to kind of keep that engagement up. Um, I really enjoy playing Guess a Champ with you guys. That's always fun to, to have this interaction and basically play a game live on stream. I think that's super fun. Um, but yeah, congratulations to everybody that won. Um, we, again, will be reaching out via Twitch DMs later today. Um, John, anything you want to dive into before we uh, log off this stream here? Uh, no, nothing that I can say too much. Uh, I guess I could touch on it a little bit. Uh, I did make m the most recent round of tactics, and I am painfully aware that there's some issues with them. Those will be fixed shortly, I promise. We're fixing uh, Alliance Wars. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, Alliance War no will panic. be fixed. Um, and yeah, that, I guess the only thing I'll give a little bit of spoiler on is, yeah, like, be excited for upco upcoming seasons of Battlegrounds. we got a lot of stuff c cooking for that game mode. Yeah, I see. I always enjoy when we get to like wrap up the stream because everyone's mm -hmm. like, I have a request. <laughs> and they throw them all in. Um, gang, we, uh, we usually we prepare extensively for the stream and the content within the stream. So we don't necessarily have all of the answers to every single question. Mm -hmm. So when people ask about the content we're talking about, we're usually very well versed and ready to answer those questions. But if we, we're not ignoring you. Half the time, A, the chat flies by, and B, if we don't have the answers to those questions off the top of our head, we can't address them. So uh, mm -hmm. I really appreciate you guys asking them, honestly. And uh, you know, the more that we see interest in particular areas of our game, the more we want to cater content to those streams in the future. We were looking to do a art team don't miss stream and bring Ooh. on someone from the art team and talk through the process from a visual perspective of building a champion. So I think that's very, very exciting. Um, but yeah, our next stream we're planning for a couple weeks from now. Nothing's locked in yet. If you want to stay in the know, please check out our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram pages. We post all of the information about our upcoming streams there. Again, just search for Marvel Contest of Champions. You'll find it all. Please check out our YouTube page, Marvel Contest of Champions, there to find uh, this weekend's special moves videos and deep dives for Moon Dragon and for Adam Warlock. Um, Again, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. I'm very, very excited that we're continuing to do this and we're continuing to level it up. Our space could look different next time. Uh, if not this next stream, perhaps the following one. Again, the more that you guys buy in, the more that we're able to do here. So uh, thank you all for being here, even if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching through any of our content creators' restreams. Again, please head to twitch.tv slash kabam so that you're eligible for any of our giveaways in future as well. John, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and we're going to sign off with a massive shout out and thank you to Mike, to our video team of Fintan, Rob, and Matt, to everyone working behind the scenes to make this possible. Mickey, um, Caroline, I'm sure had a hand in it all as well. So thank you all. We'll see you again soon. My name's Jax. Have a great weekend, everyone.